So C2G is a small uh, philanthropically funded uh, civil society initiative uh, whose aim is to contribute uh, to the governance of emerging technologies that alter the climate, such as carbon dioxide removal and solar radiation modification. The scientists, for example, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, are now making it absolutely clear that if the world wishes to stay below, uh, well below 2 degrees centigrade, and if possible 1.5 degrees, then we will have to make use of uh, at least one set of these technologies, the large-scale carbon dioxide removal technologies, in order to remove between 100 to 1,000 gigatons of carbon uh, between now and the end of the century. That's quite a lot and that's quite a challenge. What the scientists are also telling us uh, that uh, we may need some additional technologies in addition to what we do on emission reductions, what we do on carbon dioxide removal, that we may also need some of the solar radiation modification technologies. So uh, now at the same time, uh, the, what governments are doing to reduce their emissions uh, and what they have planned for the coming years and decades ahead is unfortunately insufficient to keep us below uh, the goal, the temperature goals that we have, for example, in the Paris Agreement. And therefore, uh, these technologies will come more and more uh, uh, into consideration. The way the climate change uh, situation has evolved, we have ended up in a climate crisis. Uh, emissions continue to rise or not go down, even if they're stable, that's not good enough. Uh, impacts are getting worse. And, uh, and uh, if we don't do something about this seriously, we as a uh, international global community, then the global temperatures will rise beyond what the ecosystems and the economics and the economic systems can handle. So we have to do this. Now, why do we have to do this now urgently? Because the technologies will take time to develop and implement, quite a lot of time. For carbon dioxide removal, it will take decades before they reach the scale uh, that we need to have in order to remove the amount of carbon that the scientists tell us. And for solar radiation modification approaches, it, the, it may take even longer. The technology itself may not be that complicated, uh, but uh, uh, the, the, the social license uh, to operate such controversial technologies and some of the governance challenges of a global approach uh, will take many, many years uh, to develop. And therefore, this is the time to start talking about them, to begin to look at the risks, benefits and governance challenges uh, and uh, eventually get ready for choices of whether or not. And if yes, how? And if not, how do you live with the implications? C2G's main way of operation has been to try to engage with the key stakeholders and then try to communicate through various ways uh, why we need to address these technologies, why now, what are some of the options, what are the risks, what are the potential benefits, and what are the governance challenges. And we do that through bilateral discussion with key players in governments, in civil society organizations, in private sector, uh, but we also do it through, uh, uh, through participating in meetings, in conferences. And to the extent we can, we try to encourage players, for example, government actors, to consider these issues in the formal agendas of intergovernmental processes.